Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to cover all the questions which were asked regarding the functional interface in Java 8. So these are the one of the important questions and these were asked in many companies uh, while uh, interview. So let's get started with the interview. Can you tell me what is functional interface in Java 8? Yeah, functional interface uh, is an interface which has only one abstract method present in it. So if an interface has one abstract method, it is known as functional interface. Some people call it uh, SAM, single abstract method uh, interface. So that is functional interface. Okay, can we have static and default methods inside a functional interface? Uh, yes, you can have any number of static and default methods present within functional interface. Can you give me a few examples of Java 8 functional interfaces? Uh, so Java functional interfaces, uh, there is predicate, uh, there is consumer, uh, there is supplier, and there is uh, function. Uh, so these interfaces are present. So if you want uh, control shift T, uh, let's look at uh, predicate. So predicate is one of the functional interfaces provided by Java. If you see java.util.function, and there is this interface predicate, and it is marked as functional interface, and it should have only one method, which is abstract. So test method is an abstract method in, in predicate interface. So this is provided by Java. Okay, perfect. Can you write a piece of code which will demonstrate the use of functional interface and its implementation? All right, so you want a user-defined functional interface. I need to define my own functional interface and then uh, implement that interface, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so let me do it. Um, there's a package known as Java 8. I'll create a new interface and I'll try to name this as a uh, square. So we are going to perform a square of a number. So I created one interface uh, and name is uh, square. Still, this is normal interface. This is not a functional interface. So to mark this interface as a functional interface, I'm going to uh, annotate this with the uh, functional interface. So there is a specific annotation known as functional interface. You have to mark your interface um, with this annotation. And then you will need to declare your method, which is uh, integer cal calculate. So calculate will accept one integer and return the square of that integer. So the integer x, so it takes integer and it returns integer. So uh, this is known as a declaration of the method. All right, and as it has only one abstract method it is marked as functional interface if you try to add one more uh, method which is abstract in that case it will give you uh, an error so let's try to do add one more method print so and the return type is void so you can see it is giving an error and what is the error uh, functional interface annotation square is not a functional interface because there are two abstract methods present in your uh, functional interface so let's try to remove this Okay, and now let's try to uh, use this functional interface and give uh, give the implementation of this calculate method. I'm going to give implementation uh, in program driver. So let me write the main method, which is public static void main. And after that, uh, square, square is our interface. So let's try to use square. I'm going to uh, name the variable as square. And at, as it accepts one integer, parameter so we have to give integer x and now we have to give the implementation of that calculate method so the implementation will be x into x so x is the parameter that is passed from outside so the user of this method will pass x and you take that value and you give implementation as x into x so it becomes square all right so this is just the implementation of your uh, actual interface but to call the method of that interface you have to do uh, square dot calculate okay and you need to pass a value for example i pass five and as we know calculate returns an integer so in that case uh, integer value is equal to uh, square dot calculate and five now when i call this calculate method uh, it will take this implementation, which is x into x. So in our case, it will become 5 into 5. So the resultant output will be 25. So let's try to print this value. This is our value. All right. So let me try to run this uh, program. So it prints 25. Now in this program, what we did, we wrote our one functional interface, which has one abstract method. 
and then we gave implementation of that abstract method and then we finally called that method and uh, the result is printed so that is how we implement functional interfaces in java okay what is that mechanism which is used for implementation can you explain it okay. on line number 6 all right so uh, the implementation that we provided in line at line number 6 is known as lambda expression so implementation of your functional interfaces is given through lambda expression so as you can see the um, part on the right hand side of equal to is known as lambda expression so if anyone asks you how to implement functional interfaces you can say you can implement functional interfaces using lambda expressions yeah okay perfect so i have provided you a code snippet can you share it in notepad i have a question for audience okay uh, so let me share yeah so i see this is the code snippet so guys here you can see we have a interface which is denoted by using functional interface and we have written two abstract methods okay. so can you tell me what will be uh, the output of this will it compile or will it give an error okay guys so let us know in the comment section what uh, will be the output of this code and please uh, subscribe uh, to this channel to have more videos like this that's it from this videos thank you bye bye thank you bye bye